My name is Todd Evans. I'm the Peter I. Pressman, MD, professor in surgery at Weill Cornell Medicine. I am the vice chair for research in the Department of Surgery, and I run my own independent research laboratory. So I would summarize the research in my own group as trying to understand how organs develop in embryos. If we understand how organs are actually made and generated during embryogenesis, then we can understand how to fix them when they're broken, either in childhood or even as adults. Much of our effort was on the blood system. We've since uh, branched out. Now much of our work is focused on the heart and the cardiovascular system, so the heart and the blood vessels. And we're doing this currently in a manner that we call studying the disease in a dish. And so a dish refers to a petri dish. The beautiful thing about being in a dish is that you can develop relatively high throughput experiments that you can't do with people, and we can try to move from the dish into actually treating the disease in the dish to screen for therapeutics. The animal model that we use, it's called the zebrafish. One of the things that the zebrafish is famous for is that it's very regenerative. Even their heart is regenerative, sizing out about a quarter of the uh, ventricle, the pumping heart and the fish survive. That heart grows back and reforms a perfectly functional, beating heart. The remarkable thing is that the genetics appear to be intact. The same genes that we know are important for the regeneration of the zebrafish heart are still present in people. Most of my group is in here, this area of the suite. I'm Kelly Banks. I'm an MD-PhD student in Todd Evans' lab. I study development of the immune system in early embryos and specifically how epigenetics influences that. My name is Brondock Cook. I'm an assistant professor on the research track in the Evans lab. Broadly, I study protein signaling pathways and how they control different aspects of differentiation. I'm Ritu Kumar, I'm an uh, assistant professor in the Department of Surgery and I work in Todd Evans lab. My work here is basically to understand the mechanism of reprogramming, taking somatic cells from an individual and reprogram them back to an embryonic stem cell-like cells. I'm Emily Mercer, I'm a graduate student in the Evans lab and so my project in particular has been delineating a role for a gene that's important in heart cell function. And what this means is we put embryonic stem cells in a dish and we add particular small molecules to manipulate them into turning into cardiac cells. And then we can compare cells that have those mutations with cells that don't. So since uh, we are very interested in how to repair organ systems at the molecular level, we hope to eventually bring that information back into the clinic to help the surgeons repair organ systems even better than they do currently. The program has a name which is called Program in Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine in Surgery. We are part of the wider mission here at Weill Cornell which includes research, includes the clinical, helping patients, and also education. So education is a big part of our mission, so much of our team are in training for degrees or advancement or career advancement in academia. Well, it's possible in the next 10 to 20 years that we will be able to generate tissues and even organs. More likely, we'll be able to use our knowledge of how these cells behave to develop therapeutics to try to enhance the regenerative capacity that's inherent in our genome and in our body.